All right, all right. Welcome, everybody, back to the channel. Another Swiss is there one live stream. Yes, we're back live. I mean, okay, I was streaming like 11 hours ago already, but I wanted to do a live stream once again. Welcome back to the flight simulator. Now, I kept the window open while I was sleeping, and so I have a little bit of a cold, and I'm literally, I, I want to just die at this point. But that's great. In today's stream, we are back in the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, and we are on board an Aerobus A320. Isn't that aerotastic, everybody? But we are here with black magic. There is black magic going on. Like, I know this is supposed to be professional, but what the hell is the landing gear? Everybody, we have invented the Aerobus A320. Indeed, we have a floating plane. That's flo just like that. Floating. Just have to write my friend. Big Jackals Gaming donated five Australian dollars. Have an awesome flight, mate. Thumbs up. Thank you very much. The thing is, I haven't even started the stream properly, and you guys are already donating. Guys, stop donating so much. All right. Anyway, thank you, Big Jack. Why, why are you wait, you're from Australia? You should be asleep. Or, okay, no, but never mind. It's Friday, right? It's like, what is it? Like midnight? Welcome. I'm sorry. This is not a very professional intro into the stream, but uh, I hate I hate my my voice when whenever I have a little bit of a cold. Anyway, in today's video, we are back with our beautiful joystick of Hotus Warthog. The first time that we're flying a um, civilian airplane, the A320 now with this joystick. Now, I am wondering, wait. What will happen if we press ready to fly? Because, I mean, we're floating right now, but what will happen if I spawn in? Ah, okay. There has been a landing gear appearance right there. Now, the plane's already turned on, which is something I do not want. We do not support the landing gear. Uh, I mean, the plane being already on. I want to start it up myself. So let's go into this. Damn, I haven't flown this plane, and I have not properly prepared for this stream. I don't know why, but I felt... You know, you know what's some days where you feel just like you're st like stupid like I feel stupid at the moment like seriously stupid I don't know how but you know what I mean you know you know like these days where you feel stupid right so wait how do I get this to go wait configure ah oh, no never mind yeah I have to use the iPad see recently I was flying the 737 which is very similar and you have to set it up with the MCDU but no the Phoenix A320 which is a plane that I haven't flown in a long long time this one has to be, I think, set up through the iPad. We have to turn off the systems through the iPad. See, I have I have uh, set the flight simulator so that we, you know, t you know, spawn in with the plane being already turned on, which makes it easier for my video recordings. So, you know, when I spawn on a runway, you know, for a runway testing, the plane's already spawned in, turned on. We don't want that today, though. Here we go. Everything is fine. Let's go ahead and while we're at it here with this iPad, let's go ahead and get those doors out. There we go. Um, mm -hmm, stairs. Mm -hmm. Cargo, cargo, cargo. Everything looking good. Forward stairs. Get some more stairs. Whatever PCA is. No, we don't need that right now. Yes. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. I mean, after all, this is a 50 pound add on. <laughs> all right. So, uh, anyway, can you guys hear me? Everything good? Yes. Now, what's this weird sound here? Sounds a bit strange here. Okay, now let's go ahead now and get into the cockpit again and turn this plane on just like we're supposed to. Because, I mean, this is something I said recently and something I complained about recently. This plane is so incredibly realistic, this A320 Phoenix add-on, that we kind of reached the point of these planes being so realistic that they're actually annoying, you know? So, for example, uh, let's turn on the APU right here. There we go. Now, this is a fairly easy plane to start up the a320 that's not the problem but you know airliners like this a320 have to align themselves on the inertial reference system which always takes eight minutes in real life you know for the instruments to work properly very roughly explained but you can actually and all the other planes i've seen before in the flight center you can re reduce that waiting time that loading time in this plane they made it so realistic that you cannot reduce it i guess I, I have never found the option to reduce that time. So we're literally going to have to wait and wait eight minutes here and sit around here on the ramp and do nothing except wait 
for this stupid computer to align itself. We can already turn on the nav mode, which nah, I don't think that's going to help. All right, come on. Turn on now. Can we get uh, some turnage? You know what I mean? God damn it. How long does even the APU take to uh, to turn on? I mean, we already we already have the ground power unit. Why did I not t t turn it on in the first place? Anyway, here we go. We can see. Come on. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, let's turn on the fuel already here. Mm-hmm. And let's see. Self-test in progress. Yeah, that is going to take a bit of a while. Come on. What is it self-testing? I mean, okay. Right? You have to give this plane a little bit of time. I'm gonna use the landing gear here as well. I have like this, I'm still using the Warthog, right? And it's a little bit strange using the Warthog with this one. Okay, but after all, this is professional, you know, professional stream, you know, full A320 professional flight. So we're just gonna have to, you know, also suffer from that professionalism by having to wait for the stupid computer to align for like eight minutes. All right, here we go. Things looking good. Now, do we have alignment time given here, please? Let's go into the, uh, Initialization page, IRS initialization, mm-hmm. That is gonna take a bit of a while here, indeed. Come on, it will say it in a second or so. Right, nav is turned on. They are uh, aligning, right? What's it doing here? Smoke detector, yes, IRS alignment in six minutes. So this, this, this is what it says here now. That's gonna take six minutes for these instruments to even work properly. That's great to see. You know, that's something that, you know, that happens during the boarding process. So let's just continue, like, let's do a little bit of a boarding process. I'm just wondering also, can I use the throttle properly? Because I have to make sure that that is usable. Um, mm-hmm. So this is the throttle. Let me just go ahead and see. Sim settings. Mm-hmm. Controls. Controls. Hmm. That's not the one I'm looking for. See, and I want to be able to use reverse thrust because I have, again, I have this uh, whole is full setup right here and I'm, I want to make sure that that all works. Okay, that is how I use reverse thrust. All right. You know, we've got some short runways here. We actually haven't talked about our route for today's flight. You know, we are in the Caribbean again. We are at some very ghetto airport that has like no runway markings, which is something I always find interesting. We are here though, and we're gonna fly up north. We're basically on the most southernmost island here of the Caribbean. I think that is, is it even still the Caribbean. Oh, it's it's it's, it's far below Saint Vincent and the Grenadines and stuff like that. So uh, I don't even know. But it doesn't really matter. We're gonna fly up there, up north. You know, stuff like that. And you know what? We can even start closing some of those doors because you know I want to keep keep that sh boarding process. Uh, Short. Let's go ahead and get rid of the um, door on the doors on the right, the cargo doors as well. So we only have these stairs open. You know, gotta make sure those passengers board quickly. Now about my livery choice. I don't know why I picked Air New Zealand, by the way. <laughs> Welcome back, Mr. Zero One. Anyway, I mean, you know, I'm, I am trying to, I, I'm trying to, 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 to post some butter landings. This is my my goal for today's stream as well. All right. Lights turn on right here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. More lights, please. Yeah, check that out. Okay. Good. Professionalism. Anyway, how are you guys doing? It's uh it's Friday today. We're still having a bit of a bit of a cold. Alright, APU generator. Let's turn it on. Let's maybe switch with the XD there we go. The APU generator. So we can get rid of the GPU. There we go. Yes. And I mean, actually, you know what? Let me just try to use the autopilot as well today. It won't work here, though, with this Warthog. So I'm going to have to set up. I, I mean, I always have hated the A320 pilot, autopilot. I've never been able to use it properly. Anyway, what else is going on? Guys, I need some video ideas. I haven't recorded the video for tomorrow. I'm, uh, I'm out of video ideas once again, which is something that is like a weekly occurrence. Maybe, um... I mean, okay, we have to we have to literally kill eight, ten, three minutes of time today. Everything's fine. We do three minutes of aviation, plane hard landings. We've got a jet smart Airbus. All right, this is something I've not seen ever before. What is a severe landing gonna be? 
I mean, come on now. Okay. By the way, I can count the pixels. Who who filmed this? Anyway, by the way, I or I, I'm I'm gonna be probably uploading the uh, my Top Gun challenge video today. So um. All right, that's the severe landing for you. Okay, it doesn't look that bad. That's no problem at all for the A320. That was definitely survivable for the airplane. Not bad. It's the Honda Jet released for the flight simulator. See, this is basically what I'm doing now, multitasking, trying to find video ideas. Is it already released? Ah, no, it's not. Is it? No, it's not. Is it? No. Is it? No. Is it? No. No. Is it? No. No, is it? No. It's no, is it? Is it? No. It's not. Anyway, IRS uh, is aligning in two minutes, so that's good. Do that, Sim. Ah. Uh, one day I will. I mean, you know, Thrustmaster sent me like this a pilot's headset that I can use for ATC, which is really cool. Mm hmm. Try to make a plane model for the flight simulator. Oh, that's gonna take months, though. <laughs> that would be a fun project, but I'm not that skilled into anything. Actually, anything at all. Hello, KG Beats. How are you doing? Um. Oh yeah. I mean, I can. It's just these. I, what I can recommend to anyone who wants to start off with YouTube and needs music, just go onto the YouTube library. There's tons of music there. So yeah. That's uh. That's that's one. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, IRS. Line, line now. Come on. Yeah. Yes. That's what I'm talking about, everybody. Our plane has aligned, as you can see, right here, I, I guess. Oh, well, it seems like it. Our plane is aligned. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's go ahead and get uh, all of everything right off right here. Get those doors closed. Get everything ready. Let's now start up the aeroplane. We've now been on the ground for long enough, honestly. So let's go ahead and do this. Totally professionally, though. Let's turn on the EPU bleed, though, first of all. And then it's time to turn this on. All right, ignition, start. Engine number o right. I mean, engine number o two. Engine number one, we can turn that on as well at the same time, and we can already see some end to compressor revolutions and stuff. Yes. Yes! And by the way, you know, whenever I ask you guys for video ideas, you guys are just suggesting locations. Which is interesting. Anyone else having a bad day? Well, my, my day... My day is kind of ruined by this cold I have because they always feel like trash. Like I, I, I didn't, I didn't feel like doing anything today. But here I am on an, in, I'm on an A320 in the Caribbean, which I mean is, is a good. I mean that's all right. I'll take that. All right now. All right, our engines, engines are seriously turning on. Look at that professionalism, everybody. I mean, come on. You guys are always hating on my professionalism not being professional, but I mean, that is totally fine. That's what I'm talking about. I'm still trying to use the spoilers here. Aha. I have the spoiler slider. Okay. Good. Let's now go ahead and see. Is this plane even turned on just yet? Is it turned on? Is it turned on? Let's get some power. It doesn't seem like it. Is it turned on? Can we get some power? Oh, it is turned on. All right. Engine's turned on. Let's go ahead and go reverse thrust mode. Three, two, one, now. Okay, reverse thrust because we have to, well, we have to get off here. All right, let's go ahead and release the parking brake. I did have a switch for that, but I forgot which which one was it. Oh, all right. Good, good streaming. We uh, we are actually moving. Very professional. I have, I have unplugged my, my headphones. Wait a sec. Ah. Very professional. Wait a sec. My headphones. Ah, okay. Oh, you believe seventy-five tie one dollars. I didn't hear that. Sorry. Right. Hello there. Hello, Nibelin. How are you, man? Man, how is how is everything going? Everything good? I would hope so. So yeah, let's go and sit back a little bit, reset ourselves onto the beginning of our beautiful runway. <laughs> 
Okay, things looking absolutely fine. Everything is good. Pas de problème, as they would say in France. Right, and it's now time. Yeah, let's get this going. So yeah, how's it going over there? The oh, we're seeing some graphical bugs, right? And a little bit of... Yes! Really action! I mean, come on! This is actually the most professional and best-looking stream I've done ever. Alright, let's go ahead and put the flaps down. How do I do that, even? Aha! This one. Good. Take our position for power. Ah! Uh, help! I've broken the camera. Alright. See, I'm still trying to get used to this new joystick that I have here. It's a bit strange. Alright, toga position of the engines. Things looking good. Uh, let's see how this is gonna work. Alright. 80 knots. Alright. Okay. This camera's a bit strange, though. Oh, I cannot really see anything. Okay. 140 knots. We can actually take off already. That is what I'm talking about, everybody. Yes. And it's now already time to turn to the right. Here we go. Put the landing gear up. Where's my switch for that? This one? Yeah. This one. Oh, it's a bit broken. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about, everybody. All right, turn to the right. Let's go ahead and already trim out the aeroplane. Shut up with the terrain warnings. Okay, let's put the flaps there up again. Oh, yeah. Professional. What does it say in the title? It does say that in the title. And you know what? That's looking very good. Now, I am wondering, will I be able to use the autopilot of the stupid airplane today? All right, autopilot engage. Here we go. 200 and... Oh, God. No, I want to go. Optimal I want to go. Optimal Gaming donated $2. Okay. Thanks for making my days so Hello. of you. Thank you very much, man. Thank you for the support. You guys are so supportive always. I don't really get that because all I'm basically doing is screaming into my microphone and complaining about pl planes. But I mean, you know, that's good. By the way, I haven't turned on the live weather while we're at it. Let's keep it professional and turn on the live weather. Just see what it looks like in real life. Oh my God. Anyway, we've got a, some proper winds here. Jesus. Okay. Now we're actually looking properly. Good. The thing is, autopilot is even turned on, as you can see. Problem is, uh, it's an Airbus. So it's just turned itself off because, well, we are over speeding. And I, th this is my goal. I do what like to over speed. I would like to continue over speeding in order to do that. Let's go ahead and turn off the ADR systems. We're just going to deactivate the instruments. And that way, <laughs> hello, pilot who plays. And that way, as you can see, we have no speed indicator anymore, right? And GPS altitude. That way, the plane will let us over speed. Yes, I'm running full power now. I mean, it does say professional, the title, which it, well, I should say rather realistic because we're flying this realistically without any cheats, like cheating forward to the next airport. We're not using cheats, but I did hear I, I disconnected the instruments so that the Airbus um, fly by. Oh my, let me talk. I want to explain my situation. Situation OMG. report. Mr. Dot they donated 219 Kroner. Swiss 001, I got the landing rate in X Plane 11. Smile. What do you mean? Face. Mr. What, what, what is the landing rate? But what do you mean by the landing rate? Elaborate! Hello, Elms. You guys are. Why? Right, stop donating, by the way. Sit rep. Situation report. In order, to, in order to fly an Airbus faster than it's allowed to, you have to deactivate the instruments. Otherwise, this plane is going to automatically try to pull up to prevent you from, you know, overspeeding. But, we, uh, we just dis disconnected the uh, instruments, um, the sensors, the, uh, the pitot tube, I guess. I don't even know how the, how the Airbus works properly. This is just very stupid knowledge. Right, this is not a serious plane. All right, but we're coming in for our air ne first airport for our first landing already. So let's go ahead and reactivate these instruments so we can land our aeroplane. Let's go ahead and put the spoilers out, increase those, and see what we can do with our flying today. We are a little tad fast, but I'm just wondering, what is our airport going to be? And it's down here. It's not very long of a runway. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of like a teardrop kind of maneuver. Let's already put the landing gear down just to get some more drag in here. We're just not really working because we're too fast again. Once again, the plane is complaining about the speed that we're on. Shut up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is good. 
We're, by the way, moving at half the speed of sound right now. We're a bit fast. I would like to lose some speed here. Can we put the flaps out already? Which It's probably going to prevent that. Oh, no, never mind. It's actually pulling some flaps out here. It's pulling some flaps. That's looking okay. All right. 250 knots. A little tad fast, but totally fine. And man, I'm really flying this with this with this heavy Hotas War talk. It's really not bad. I like how the microphone is kind of blocking the view, but this is really nice of a feel, man. This is Mr. Like, Dot so donated nice. 22 Norwegian right, kroner. Hello, and man. Landing monitor. Oh my god, it's way too loud. There's double Pilot two autopilot plays donated five Thank you so much. When will you fly the A350-1000 on a video or stream? Also <laughs> love the vids. Thank you very much. Dude, that's a very good idea. I mean, I've flown it in a few videos, and I've also flown it in a few streams. It's a bit of a shame we haven't had it so far for the flight simulator. But it's the one plane that's definitely going to come very soon. I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, A350. Good, good plane a like donated $4. Stop donating so much. Hi, Swiss. How's it going, man? Yeah, I'm A350, man. I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, our airport is on the right of us. So let's go ahead and reset the back of the view and see what we can do. All right, a little bit more power. Man, I, I, I'm, I, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I love the feel of the SOTAs. It's so heavy. It's so nice. I mean, the real Airbus um, side stick is also made out of full metal. It's really hefty of a feel. And so having this right here, I mean, this is for the A-10. Having this right here is just simply put it's awesome. All right, shut up. Okay. All right. Replay mode. Let's turn that on so we can replay this landing after we've done it. 120 knots. All right. We have 13 knots of tailwind. Oh, I've not planned this properly. Okay. Shoot. All right. In real life, I would have now gone around to do a teardrop and come in for the other side of this runway because we have literally 13 knots of tailwind. But we're not in real life, so we don't really care. This is probably going to very much hinder us greatly in our uh, in our ability to land properly. Alright. There's no more terrain here. There's only trees. A lot of trees here. Oh, this runway. Who the hell designed this runway here? I'm just gonna crash into some trees, but just a normal A320 thing. Dying once again. Well, the thing is, this was a na very much more of a narrow runway than I would have expected. I um, I should have listened to the GPWS callouts a little bit more. Jesus Christ, that's been a massive fail. Shut up. Um, sorry, that's not gone very well, but. We're already coming in for our next airport. It's, uh... Where I hear On this next island. Yeah. Some pretty short run runway hopping we're doing here. God damn it. Let's ignore! That's the best tool. Ignorance. Ignore this touchdown. Ignore this, um... The fact that we literally did a crash. That was a crash landing, officially. We're totally fine. We're still in the air. And the next airport is... Right here. Oh, this is gonna go desperately wrong. I planned way too short of runways for this flight here. I thought, I'd, you know, I really, I really did come in for, with into this video with the expectations of doing this professionally, but this was not looking professional. Put the flaps out full. God damn it! All right, let's maybe try to do this anyway. Did the? Uh, all right, that was a 700 feet per minute. T oh God. Yeah, maybe too short of runways. That that might be the case here. All right. Anyway, we're coming in for landing here. Looking absolutely fine. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. On um, the spoiler. Things are looking, uh... Things are not looking that good, honestly. But it's, uh, it's fine. Speed, speed. Shut up! Not taking any drugs. Speed, All right. Speed, Maybe a little more speed. sound here. Just so we can hear the GPWS call us. We can hear the aeroplane talk to us. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, come on. Let's keep it quiet. And keep it professional. No donations. As I already said. I want, to, I want to actually see professional landing now. This full concentration is necessary at this point. What's it complaining about right now? Autopilot? What is it? What's wrong? There's something wrong here. Maybe we're a little bit too slow. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Tango, Victor, Sierra, Uniform, Airport. Coming in. It's not a very long runway, but at least at least the winds are properly set now. We've got 40 knots of headwind. Oh man, this is still. I mean, still this joystick feels so nice. I mean, this is now the third time of me saying this in this stream. All right, looking good. 125 knots above the mountain. We've got no poppy lights. Very underquipped runway. God damn it. Think rate. Shh. Oh, more speed. More speed. Less speed. Less altitude. Think rate. What am I saying? Everything's good. Letting Pull checks. Up. Pull up. 40, 30, 20. Retard. Serene, All right. Time to Pull stop. Up. Full power into the stopping. This was not smooth at all. But I think it's been appropriate. And appropriate enough for a stop. My God, that was a that was a very weird landing, man. Jesus Christ, it wasn't the smoothest for sure, at all. Like it was not very smooth. It wasn't buttery. But let's consider the 15 knots on the clock. Let's consider the runway that is very short. I think that's been fine. Not crashed into anything. Totally all right. Little little bit of a flare. All right to see. I mean, come on, 50 knots of wind. That's been okay. Stop complaining all the time. Now let's. Oh, stop here in the re in the replay. All right. I'm. You know what? This is something I said recently about this A320 add-on here. I do as un you do underestimate the stopping distance that this plane can have. So you know what? Let me try even aiming for smoother landings because this thing will stop anyway. Like this thing literally stopped in no time. That was absolutely relaxed of a stopping. So let me use that next time around. That knowledge that we have of this one. All right, here we go. Yeah, let's check this out. Let's go ahead and reset back. A little bit of a reverse thrust, looking good. I oh, you know what, you don't even need the whole runway. We, we can use what, whatever we have right here. Put the flaps to 50% right here, which hasn't really worked. Aha, okay, there's only full flaps or no flaps. That's interesting. How do I set the flaps properly? Wait, where's my flap lever? Like there's so many switches here on this joystick that I don't even know. Uh, all right, let's put the flask to, uh, to one. Huh? All right, no flaps then. That's a bit strange now. Let's go full power though. No flaps? Oh, that's a stupid idea. I cannot put the flap. Oh! Well. You know, I, I like how it's said in the title that the stream is going to be professional, which it clearly isn't. All right. You know, I had a dream. I had, a, I had the dream. I was was very convinced that this was finally going to be a good stream. Kind of rhymed. You know what I mean? That's just disappointing. I've disappointed myself. I've just disappointed everyone here watching this one. God damn it. Put the landing gear up at least. All right. Let's go uh, full power now. Landing gear won't come up. That's interesting. More landing gear power. There we go. All right. Shut up. Stop complaining. I've got no controls. All right. Absolutely fine. Ab ah! All right. Absolutely fine. Now, let's come in for a landing, though, and stuff. Right? Let's do that. Mm 
Mm -hmm. At Tango, Victor, Sierra, Charlie. Landing gear down. Get everything ready. I'm going to do this properly now. All right, this is a lo very long runway now. We still have like a proper amount of winds, which is not a good thing. But let's maybe try to butter this down here on the runway. Now we're not we're not gonna go very well with the wind here for sure, but that's fine. Oh man, this is not this is not looking very good. This stream, I do have to say, let's be honest here. This is looking very miserable. All right, 120 knots. Mm hmm. Thousand feet. Mm hmm. 120 knots. Let's go ahead and get left turning. Man, I like how this plane flies, though. It flies nicely. Gotta see the runway. That's right here. Oh, that was, that was not a good idea. Whoopsie. Well, that's gonna be a little bit of a sharp one. Kind of like Pull. Bhutan Airport. Paro. What am I doing? Okay, this is just being... This is just a flyby. A flyby. Totally fine. We didn't touch down. God damn it. What is the stream? What is this flying here? What are these airports? God damn it. This is the... This is the worst one. Worst stream I've ever seen. Okay. Let's do a teardrop maneuver and just come in for the other side of this runway, man. There's 13 knots of wind. What are we doing? This is supposed to be professional. All right. Clickbait. All right. Now, turn to the right. Full right turn. We have enough space here. I mean, you know, the term professional is something that can be, you know, that's very vague. Very subjective. So. We might just be stalling this plane out here with a stupid angle. All right, come on now. Runway's coming up. Absolutely fine. Yes. Teardrop maneuver. Let's come in. Flight control replay. Turn that stupid thing on. Get going now. On the spoilers. Get everything ready here. Flaps are down. 140 knots. All right. Got a bit of wind still, but at least it's now in the head of us. Let's do it. Okay. A little bit bad on the center line. Now, finally time to do this properly now. Revenge, everybody. Revenge on the butter. 40, 30, 20, retard. 10, 5. Oh no, oh no. 5. Uh, okay. That was fine. I think that was alright. It's time to stop. Yeah. God damn. I, this was not. It was not. It, it was smooth. It was rather butter. But it wasn't good. Come on. I was like, I, like, technically just a bad landing. And that kind of. I'm just disappointed in myself once again, you know? Alright. I mean, considering 50 knots of wind, though, I think that's fine, all right. That's fine. Stop complaining, though. Enough of complaining. I think it's been okay. Not been the smoothest, for sure. But let's take off once again. Can we do, like, a, a little bit of, like, a... Okay, that's full power. Well, this plane does take a bit of a while to go to Toga. What did it hear right there? I just tested the amphibic capabilities of the A320. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing to see here. Everything's fine. Stupid landing gear up. Come up now, landing gear! Landing gear! Here we go. Alright. Good now. Time to head for the next island. Better luck next time. That's what they say. 
Let's do it now. Um, okay, everything's ready here, though. Everything's fine. Nothing to see here again. Once, once again, this is nothing to see here. It's totally... You know, the word starts with P, ends with professional, everybody. <clears throat> Good! Very professional streaming. Now, next airport's coming in very soon. It's uh, on this island, whatever. TVS, and the thing is, all these runways I picked for this airport are way too... I mean, for this stream. I can't even talk properly. What am I even doing here? Like, this whole, this whole stream is just a failure. All right, no. No, come on. Let us overspeed a little bit. Let us overspeed a little bit. Just a tiny little bit. Wait, let's not do that. Maybe it's just... Oh, come on. Shh. Don't get in on altitude right now. Come on. Right, we're, you know we're plenty fast. All right. Everything, it's, it's fine. Shut up now. Stop complaining. God damn it. <laughs> we are a little bit fast. So where is that next airport? I, th I think I remember this. This island Ikeo code. This airport Ikeo code. I think this is going to go pretty pretty wrong, isn't it? <clears throat> Good. It's professional, though. No cheating. I'm just wondering, where's the next airport going to be? Let's find out. It's going to order some speed right here. Put the um, spoilers down. Increase the spoiler. Here we go. Increase the spoiler in D. Get the landing gear down. Landing gear down. Get... What else? Well, that's basically all we need. No time to, time to come in for landing here. Turn on the replay mode. I know. We have a lot. We have, you know, this airport doesn't need long runways. Let me try this. Try to do this now. Stuff. All right. A little bit less speed, please. We're very fast. Can we please do this properly? We are very fast. Very hot. Very high. Everything. Miserable approach. Miserable, indeed. I'm having a stroke again. I'm just wondering. Stroke. Alright. Get the flaps down. If this is going to be a butter landing, that will be a miracle because this is never going to work. Thing is, whenever I write professional in the title, those are the most ridiculously unprofessional streams that ever have existed, ever. And whenever I don't write it in the title, then it's just, just a normal video. Like, there's nothing to worry about then. I don't get this. All right, it's coming for landing now once again. Try to do this professionally. All right. Flaps down, please. All right, 180 knots. 160 knots. God damn it! This airport now, at least, is not that miserable when it comes to literally everything. From the runway to the to a little mountain being in front of the runway. And our approach is now a lot more stable. We're a little bit high still, but it's totally fine. Look at how beautifully our A320... You know, it kind of... I feel like it wants to land down there. That's like kind of the attitude that you have to get in. Alright. Here we go. Now, everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and get 50-50 on the poppies. 
50-50 on the poppies. Let's do it. We have no GP Dallas clouds. Uh, okay, I mean that's not been that's not been bad. It's, it's just been late. Ugh, come on. Yeah, it's pretty tough to land a plane very smoothly here again, like this 50 knots of, of 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 headwind, really. But it's been okay. At least at least survivable, that's for sure. Uh, but I wanted to make this more smoothly, and it, it didn't really work out. Like it's totally fine. A little bit of a bouncer as well. It's not been beautiful. It's not been nice. You know what I mean? Like I've seen much more beautiful of, of landings. All right, let's go and reset back to the beginning of this runway here. I don't really, I've kind of lost hope for this string in its entirety. That's good. But something that brings hope to me is our next airport. Let's take off again. Let's get rid of the, yeah, let's check that out. Our next airport is going to be, um, well, we've got this, this is the St. Saint, Saint Vincent, the Grenadines, something like that, right? It's coming for a landing, uh, take off right here. Mm-hmm, 18 knots. 100. I think a stroke, I shouldn't be streaming whenever I, I feel like, I feel right now. <laughs> ah, great. Okay, let's go ahead now and put the landing gear up. Mm hmm Flaps up as well. That's or have already been up. See, I have to I have to work on the throttle here, that's for sure as well. Okay. <laughs> Thing is, you know what? I want to skip this airport right here, this uh, Sierra Victor, because this has a short runway like you've never seen before. This is ridiculous <laughs> next one. My god, hello Sammy the Cookie, welcome back! Sammy right, tech, tech cookie, cookie donated five euros. <laughs> How are you doing, man? Hi. Sorry for disturbing, but for steeper airports, it might help to do a holding to reduce speed and altitude. Go yeah. south, Monheim. Yeah, I mean, we, we could go for like a holding pattern if we're too fast, but you know, that's boring, isn't it? That's a bit. We want to save time. It's all about efficiency. This is a, this is a, 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 a budget airline, right? So we got to keep it efficient out here. So, next airport, next island. This is, I think, now St. Vincent or something. This has a few airports, uh, like two airports actually, which is not a few, but that's two. What am I saying? This, I, I'm literally, I, I cannot speak properly. But this has got two airports, it's coming for um, the big one. And let's do a smooth landing here. I mean, this one now has a straight crosswind as well, which I think is interesting. Oh, the camera, please, oh, go back. Ah, oh. all right. Runway coming up, we're in the cloud. Now is this VFR flying? No, no, this is not good VFR, but that's totally fine. All right. So, let's go ahead in order to get the spoilers out. We need to get rid of some speed and some altitude. Get rid of the landing gear. Get that down. Get the flaps down. So we can nicely redo... Oh my god, the runway's down here. All right. Smooth approach? Not really. At all. So, we should probably initialize a proper holding... A little like a like a whole like a 360 right here, a little bit of an orbit. Okay, let's do it. Just keep the nose here to level. Things are looking good. Everything's fine. This is gonna get nicely rid of some speed. Let's go ahead and also get rid of some altitude right here, because we're a little bit slow already. Totally fine. Little orbit right here just to come in for Sierra Alpha Airport. Whatever this is. Right, this is St. Vincent, isn't it? This is St. Vincent. Alright, let's do it. It's coming for a landing now. Guys, we're just in the clouds at the moment. That's great to see. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Think rate. Think rate. Yes. Not stable. Not good, but not terrible. Not, not, not undoable. That's the point. Where it's coming. Let's do this now. Properly. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Coming in. It's gonna work very well. We need a little bit more concentration right here. Just keep it, let's keep it, let's keep it nice. 50, 40, 30, 20, retard. Long run, Mike. Let's use it. 10, 10, 10, okay. 10, what a flare. <laughs> no! Come on! Yes! Finally a butter landing. Way too late. But Jesus Christ, finally smooth. Uh, 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 there we go. 105 knots. Okay, like literally 150, 40, 30, 20, 10, 10. Like, this has been way too many 10s. Look how many, look how long I kept this nose above ground. Like this air put it above ground, really. Check that out. Uh, let's give that a look. That has been properly smooth for the first time ever in the stupid damn stream. Good. Ab absolutely fine. Finally, fine. Right. And finally okay. I think. Try this out. I can see this again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Check that out. All right. Absolutely okay. Finally. Good. Good. That's been that's been acceptable. So yeah, guys. Um, I know this has been a very rather short stream. It felt shorter than it was. Like I mean, it's almost an hour now. I would like to continue doing this, but I have to. I have to go now. I have to record a video. Welcome back, this was Zero One. Right. Life cannot always be easy and fun and flying around airplanes and struggling to fly them properly. So I got to go now um, to record this stupid thing. And um, thank you very much for watching this. I'll be back later, though, with another stream. I don't know what I'm going to stream, but I'll